there's relatively little regulation that's been going on or relatively little um, attention to these particular issues. And I think there's a, there's a need um, for the public health to begin to really uh, think about what's being sold and promoted on the Internet as well as how to actually address, address the issue. So there are various categories of restricted and harmful products that are sold online. So we've done a little, little icons for each of these different types of products. And under United States law, there are different ways uh, that these are, these are regulated. So we have certain products that are age restricted, like uh, cigarettes. Um, in, in every state in the U.S., you need to be either 18 or 19 to buy cigarettes, uh, 21 in every state for alcohol. There are other uh, products that have restricted access, so you need a, a gun permit, let's say, or a prescription. Some are totally illegal, um, but still reside on the Internet. Some are totally digital, so there's no tangible product trading, um, so, such as online gambling or child pornography, for instance. Um, and then in many cases, there's a tangible product, and this is the type of research that I do, is, is to look at people who are selling these types of tangible products on the Internet and to be thinking about how to address this from a policy perspective. The first challenge when policymakers uh, try to address the sales of these is really understanding where the online sale takes place. If you're an attorney, this is called the nexus issue. And there's been a lot of controversy and a lot of um, case law on this, but um, where the purchaser is located, where the order is placed, uh, where the site's located, the server, the delivery, et cetera, there's, um, as, as well as the payment processing. There's also the problem of the anonymity. It's extremely difficult to find the content. You can go to Internet and other domain name registration, and, and people can easily um, uh, list a, a fake sort of identity as to who they are, where they're, where they're located. Uh, there's also a growing number of domain names to monitor. You can see through the Netcraft survey, 1 million domain names in 1997 to over 207 million as of last month. So there's a, a, a wide array of, of uh, domain names to monitor. Uh, 